Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about my favorite object in the solar system that's not Earth. And this, as you can see, is the Cassini mission that ended its mission approximately a year and a half ago, I think, from when I'm making this video. Uh, it's no longer with us, but the data from this mission is actually still being actively analyzed. And very recently we discovered something really awesome about my favorite object, Titan. Today we're going to talk about Titan a little bit more and uh, find out that apparently it's a lot more Earth-like than we thought before. Welcome to What The Math. Okay, before I go into the details, it's really not Earth-like at all, to be honest. It's super cold, it's full of misery, and it's very dark here. But in terms of the things happening on the surface, it does actually uh, seem a lot more Earth-like than some other objects. So we know that it has a really crazy atmosphere. Its atmosphere actually extends um, something like a thousand kilometers from the surface. It's even more so than Earth. It also has more atmospheric pressure on the surface. Um, the actual atmospheric pressure here is about 1.6 atmospheres of Earth. So in other words, um, you could definitely stand on the surface and not uh, suddenly die. Okay, you would die, but not from the lack of atmosphere. Um, but obviously not all things are perfect here. And for one, it's also super, super cold. This is one of the coldest uh, objects in our solar system. The temperatures here are regularly about minus 179 degrees Celsius. And um, for this reason, we obviously don't think of it as Earth-like, but nevertheless, there are things happening here that um, make it very, very interesting. So we know that it has atmospheric conditions, it has liquid objects, it has um, all sorts of really, really interesting things happening here including all sorts of interesting events, um, such as uh, actual rain that we have now officially confirmed. So basically, if we were to remove the atmosphere, um, first of all, what we would see is that um, it seems to actually have two really interesting regions. One of them is more or less like the tropics, which is the northern part of Titan. It has a lot more lakes here, it has a lot more um, relatively interesting features um, that I guess in some sense would make this an equivalent of a tropical area. And then we have the south that's more desert-like. It's more dry, it doesn't have as much liquid. But what kind of liquid can we actually have in these cold conditions? Well, um, it's for the most part methane and ethane. It has these very beautiful lakes of methane and ethane that uh, NASA actually made a really beautiful um, composition of using the data from the Cassini mission. So this is actually what Titan's surface looks like. And um, for the most part, there's basically everything that you'd expect from uh, a regular planet. It's almost planetary-like, except it's a moon, of course. Uh, so there's atmospheric conditions, there's most likely things like uh, rain, and um, there are changes in climate, there are all sorts of um, geological activities, although for the most part, they are actually based on the geological activity of ice, water ice, because water ice here acts like um, an actual ground surface on Earth. And um, the lakes here are very, very active. And the very recent analysis uh, showed us that um, it's raining here. It basically has rain that you can see in the picture right here that we predicted would happen. As a matter of fact, uh, in 2004, we think we saw rain in the Southern Hemisphere when it was summertime there. And so we predicted that there's going to be rain in the north in 2017. And that's based on the fact that um, it should be summertime in the north of Titan now. Okay, summertime is a very relative term here. The summertime on this object is still super cold. It's basically minus 79 degrees Celsius. The wintertime is a little bit colder than that. And um, during the summertime in the north, we expected to see um, rain once again, and this time really wanted to confirm it. And that's exactly what just happened. Using the data we collected from the Cassini mission, uh, we saw these features that are known as uh, bright ephemeral features. These are essentially the reflection of wet surface that are normally associated with, well, rain essentially. 
Here's an example from Earth, actually. This right here is the bright ephemeral feature of the wet asphalt um, from a wet road. And we think that this is exactly what we saw right here on Titan. And uh, because of these features, um, it's most likely that what happened there was methane rain that fell onto the surface, which was the uh, water ice, or basically the hard surface, and it made it wet. So in essence, it was the water ice surface with methane liquid on, the, on top of it. Very, very unusual, but for Titan, this is basically it's summertime, and this is what a typical tropical rain in the summer of uh, Titanian tropics would look like. And very interesting, very unusual, but super, super cool. So what the Cassini mission showed us is that Titan is very, very diverse in what's actually happening on the surface there. It's very Earth-like in that sense. Now, rain by itself is obviously something we don't really see anywhere else in the solar system except for Earth. So seeing it on Titan is a huge discovery. But, you know, it's actually methane rain, so technically it's really, really uh, stinky. But nevertheless, I think it's pretty cool. Now, hopefully in the next few years, we'll uh, maybe finally convince one of the agencies or maybe even some sort of an entrepreneur to finally send another mission to Titan because the only thing we have right now is data from the Cassini and obviously the only video that was ever taken from the surface of another object. This is actually directly from uh, the Huggins probe that landed on the surface of Titan. And this is basically what Titan really looks like. A lot of people still don't believe that this is real footage, but it's as real as it gets. This is literally what Titan uh, is like. So um, hopefully in the next few years, we'll actually plan something to come back here and to do some more discoveries. But for now, that's really all we have. Cassini, I personally think, was probably one of the most amazing missions ever. We discovered so much about Saturn and about Titan as well. And uh, it actually inspired quite a lot of people to pursue astronomy because of these unusual but very awesome discoveries. And now that we know that Titan is a lot more like a typical planet with, you know, rain and stuff, we definitely need to go here. We need to discover what's up here. There are a lot of challenges with visiting Titan, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, and I think the biggest challenge is actually finding ways to produce energy here. Uh, Titan only receives about 2% of sunlight, uh, which means that we cannot use solar panels here. It's going to be really, really dark by the time we get to the surface. It's basically almost like complete um, night-like darkness, even in the middle of the day. And for this reason, we need to actually discover new techniques of somehow basically making it work. There's a lot of challenges, but that's what makes it exciting. And one last thing I wanted to mention about Titan is that it also has a really cool river, very similar to Nile on the planet Earth. Vit Flumina is one of the major rivers that actually flows on the surface of Titan and flows into one of the major lakes. And we believe that it actually has all of the features of a typical river, including things like waterfalls, whirlpools, uh, waves, you name it. Uh, so, except that it's methane and ethane, it's not really water. And although the river itself is only about 400 kilometers long, and not as long as Nile, obviously, uh, nevertheless, it actually is a super cool feature that you're not going to find anywhere else in the solar system. It's really only Earth and Titan that has these features, rivers and lakes. And so for this reason, uh, this is actually a pretty good enough excuse to go back to Titan to study it even more and to try to discover what else we can actually find there, including, obviously, some kind of a weird, unusual life, which is what many people, many scientists believe actually exists there. Since we've seen some unusual um, signs of methane and other materials that seem to actually circulate around the planet and change throughout the year, but without really any explanation. So many scientists, including actually myself, believe that maybe there is actually life on Titan, but very weird life, and we need to go and discover it. On that note, Hopefully, in the next few years, we'll discover something else about this unusual but beautiful moon using the data from Cassini, but most importantly, hopefully, we'll launch another mission to Saturn. Discovery of rain on Titan definitely makes it even more Earth-like than before, but at the same time, it's still a very unusual, very alien and super cold world that a typical human would not really easily survive on. So we do need to send a mission that's probably not really um, people yet. We need to send more robotic missions first.
And as we discover more exciting things about Titan, I'm going to make sure to mention them in some of the future videos. So do subscribe if you still haven't, and maybe even consider supporting this channel Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. And those of you that supported me for months and years, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It does help me tremendously. And I really, really love all of you for um, helping me so much so far. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.